In this version of a 2-3 matchup zone, our goal is to contest three-point shots, don't give up layups, and we're okay with giving up long two-point shots. Let's look at how we guard the perimeter. Against this traditional zone offense, one of the corner defenders has to step up to guard the first pass on the perimeter. In this case, it will be the four stepping up. When the first pass goes to the side where the two is, three denies the post pass. Four shades towards the middle and help side, and five guards the high post but sags back to protect the rim because we're okay with long twos in this defense. When the ball gets reversed and four has to guard the perimeter, one will come over and bump four off the ball. We don't ever want two players guarding the ball. Four goes back to guard anyone in their zone. Two takes the top, five stays in the middle, three is in help side. Let's look at that rotation again. When the ball is passed inside the three-point line, in this case into the high post, we match up in a man-to-man -man defense. And that's a common rule. Anytime the ball is passed or dribbled inside the three-point line, we're going man-to-man -man defense. You can yell match, man, some kind of a term that lets everyone know that we are now in a man-to-man -man defense. Five steps up to guard the ball. Everyone else is one pass away and denying. When the ball is passed to the short corner, it's a pass inside the three-point line. So we all yell match, and we're now in a man-to-man -man defense for the rest of the possession. If the ball goes to the short corner on the side where the bottom defender comes up, we have one bumping four out to the corner, and then we all yell match. Since we're in this set, let's say the ball doesn't go to the short corner. The offensive player goes out to the three-point line, four follows, and the weak side wing player decides to overload. So the three would follow them all the way to the block because five has the high post. Speaking of overloads, let's look at when a cutter fills the opposite corner. Four will communicate the cutter and pass them off for three to follow to the corner, and four takes the low post. If the ball goes into the low post, then we all yell match, and we're in a man-to-man -man defense. We use the same rule when there's a ball screen. Whatever your philosophy is in your man-to-man -man defense against ball screens, switch, double, hedge, ice, fight through, whatever it is, just make sure your team communicates there's a ball screen and yells match. This defense will not work if your players are not communicating with each other. Against a 5 out offense, the 5 will stay in the middle to protect the rim and guard middle flashers. But, they also have to shade toward the 5th perimeter player when all the offensive players are on the perimeter. This results in more rotations for the other 4 defenders, and communication again is a must. Once you yell match, use this man-to-man -man defensive tutorial to raise your team to another level.